Welcome to Urban Knife Guy. Today we're going to talk about the Silky Saw Pocket Boy Outback Edition. Silky has been building saws in Japan since 1919. In 1985, they introduced the Gum Boy, a folding saw with a rubber clad handle that became the forerunner of almost all modern pruning style saws. And that's why they're often referred to as Japanese saws to this day. The Pocket Boy is essentially the Gum Boy's little brother, designed to be even more compact and versatile. This is the special Outback Edition, and has been upgraded with a thicker and more rigid blade to better survive the demands and rigours of bushcraft. The Silky Outback Edition handsaw features a handle made of arbor composite, which is a combination of wood and plastic. It is supposed to provide more grip and control for wet, cold and game processing conditions. Now, it comes in this plastic case. While it is a good storage case, I don't think it's very practical to bring outfield. It will likely get crushed and crack in the pack and there's no way to secure it to your pack or your belt securely. You could use this but as you can see it just hinges down. You still would have to tie it out. I will show you how I carry the Suki saw later on. Now the silky saw as it comes does not come with a lanyard. This was added by me after, but it does have that lanyard hole. Let's first look at some of the specs. The blade length is 170 mm. Now there's also a 240 blade. That's the larger outback version of this. The closed length is 205 mm or 8.1 inches. And the overall length is 375 mm or 14.7 inches. The thickness, we look at the thickest part here at the handle, that's 25 mm or just one inch. So that gives you an idea of how big this is. In terms of weight, it's pretty light. It's only 0.55 pounds or 248 grams. So let's have a look at the blade. This blade is what's known as a street style blade as opposed to the curved blade. And it features 8.5 teeth per inches and Silky classifies this as a medium blade. The teeth of the blade are heat treated and hardened to stay sharp three times longer than non-hardened teeth. The blade also features four cutting angles along the blade. So this is for rip cutting, cross cutting, slant cutting and it leaves a smooth surface every time. The entire blade is black plated with a highly durable nickel and tin blend. It provides a longer blade life and improved cutting performance. There's a locking mechanism that you have to unlock by depressing here. Now you just have to be careful when you're actually using the blade because if you are sawing and using it and if you accidentally want to choke up and you press down, you can actually have it move up like that. But this is also how the blade is intended to be. You have two locking positions. So one like that and for certain angles, you might want to have it more angled this way. So you don't really have to worry if you do press it, it, it kind of jams up like that uh, and will remind you that you need to lock it back in position and not put your thumb up. But you'll get used to it uh, after some time, but I have to admit, even if you use it a lot, from time to time, you'll still accidentally press on this button. Overall, like most Silky Saw owners, I think this is an excellent tool. And this Outback version in particular is great for bushcraft and camping. I believe there are always different tools for different jobs and if I need to cut down a branch to size, I'd rather use a saw than an axe or a hatchet personally. It is less effort and less weight to bring around and you also get a cleaner cut. Let me show you a few tests I did with this saw. So here's the Silky Saw Pocket Boy in action. You can see this is a pretty sizable tree. So just for comparison, we're talking about 4 inches. I've cut through one half, I'm cutting through the other half here. I would say it's pretty easy, I won't say it's very tiring. It did take a bit of time as it is uh, quite thick. Uh, but generally with the Pocket Boy, I think as long as the saw is smaller than, or rather the branch is smaller than the saw, you have no problem. And with the Silky Saw, you always cut on the pool. So you always add pressure with the pool and not the push stroke, so different from the European style blades. Uh, but generally, pretty good. So if we're talking about uh, outfield test, uh, I think this is a pretty good test and it works very well. 
Like the field test you saw, I've used this saw to cut many different branches and small trees. I've even used it as a clearing tool when bashing through the jungle. Instead of using a machete or parang, I used the saw to clear small branches and brush. So but instead of slashing, you bring it up to the joint or the limb and kind of slice down to cut it. And it's generally a very quick and clean cut. It is of course not as effective as a machete and parang because that's not the intended purpose, but it can do the job if you have nothing else. In terms of care and maintenance, after every trip into the field, I will use this hard brush and I'll clean the saw. So of course this is back at home, but I don't bring this out field. I'll give it a brush, clear all the teeth of all the debris and all the different parts. Then I'll wipe it down with some oil you could use WD-40, any anti-rust oil or mineral oil. Give it a wipe down, including these metal parts over here. And then I fold it up and keep it and it's good to go. To carry the saw, I bought a long nylon flashlight pouch. I got this off AliExpress. So if you're looking for something similar, just make sure you get the measurements right because you want to make sure that your saw can fit inside. And this fits in, as you can see, perfectly, almost as though it was made for the silky saw. There's a velcro catch as well as a buckle. So you can imagine this is going to be really secure inside. This has a molly attachment, which is exactly what I wanted because this allows me to attach it to the side of my pack. And when I'm bushcrafting, I can transfer this to my belt on the side and my fixed blade is on the right side of my hip. I find this is the best way to store the saw for easy access and because I'm in a tropical climate with high humidity, I do prefer a nylon sheath. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Silky Saw Pocket Boy Outback Edition 170. If you are looking for a portable saw for camping or for bushcraft, I think this is a great tool, especially this Outback Edition. I'm just worried I can't find replacement blades if I need to, because this is a limited edition. For the regular Silky Saws, you can easily find replacements, but I'm not so sure for this saw. But let me know what you think about this saw. Do you own the Outback Edition? What do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and as usual, keep it folded, keep it safe.